All right, coming up next, this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Well, the road to middleweight golden glory still goes through Sydney, Australia. Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles. You'll be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, he's one of the most dangerous man, men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background, was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's the world Olympic silver medalist, was able to knock out Jacare Souza. This a truly tremendous mixed martial artist since going up to 185 has truly found his move. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says, the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run a rough shot through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. Tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, presenting the challenger, Robert Whitaker. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds, fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight Champion of the world, Parker. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Do it now.
two 185 pounders on the roster. The middleweight champion has defended the title several times, now looking to do just that here tonight. His last defense, he got off to an outstanding start. That is something his opponent will be looking to prevent here tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Clipped with a left-hand counter. Big kick land. Just missed with the left there. Head kick blocked. Finish. Oh! Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah, there's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Blocks that strike. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Try to establish that jab. Round two next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. His Ready? strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on. Gets up, he is back on the feet here. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, misses with the jab. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh! Whiffs on that offering. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. 
trying to kick the leg out. Nice punch lands. Throwing that jab, no good. He's Unbelievable. Hurt. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. So another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Back to the feet. Out of range with that one. see that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So the celebration is on for the UFC middleweight champion of the world, and he gets it done by stoppage here tonight. That flurry of strikes leading to the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still. the man of the moment, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion, and that is the title that leaves the Octagon with him here tonight. Another TKO victory during what has been a most impressive title reign. The celebration is on with coach and fighter, and rightfully so, after producing a result here tonight. I'm not sure who will be next for a title shot. All I can say, he will likely have his hands full with this most dominant UFC middleweight.